welcome to the Shellonomics Podcast, presented by King Mictus, your ultimate source for pure Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles entertainment. Stay tuned and dive deep into the Turtleverse with us. Catch all the action on YouTube and Twitch for non-stop Ninja Turtles adventures and retro gaming thrills. King Mike and the heroes in a half shell. Well, Wall, and welcome back. Another episode of Shellonomics, episode four of the original Ninja Turtle cartoon series coming up, Hot Rodding Teenagers. Probably my favorite of the five. Action is great. Really good battle sequences here. Good storyline. We get introduced to the Neutrinos as well as Krang Stone Warriors, like we talked about in the other episodes. The turtles just keep building and building and building to harder and harder enemies. Whatever, started with the punks, then the foot soldiers, Bebop and Rocksteady, Mousers and Robots, and now they're going to be taking on Krang's Stone Warriors from Dimension X. So I'm real excited to do this one with you. It's another watch along here. I do encourage all to watch these episodes. I believe they all are on YouTube for no cost. I believe they're also on Paramount Plus if you never grew up watching these, but it's been a joyride watching these again. And now here we go at the beginning of the episode. You see Michelangelo holding the swords where it says the name of the episode. Not supposed to be that way. It was supposed to be Leo. If anybody could comment below, let me know why they never changed that with all the seasons. I was shocked that, you know, you think they would have updated that by season three. So right now, another one that carries over. They took Baxter's fan, and now they're surprisingly using superhuman strength, and April is inside the car. I don't think this is smart of her to do. I don't know what she can control, but the turtles are pushing a Viet van upstairs. I mean, if that thing goes backwards, she's going to murder the turtles. But they got through it. Now he takes apart the door. <clears throat> Mike, Raph, and Leo are looking at uh, this technology here. Mike wants to know what happens to Baxter Stockman. April informs us he won't be back until season two. Now, what's interesting here is if anybody here had the VHS tape growing up, Hot Rodding Teenagers is the first episode on the tape, and then it goes into a thing about rats. Which really confused a lot of us kids watching this because it's like, wait a second, this is almost playing spoilers to the other episode. So we'll see here Donatello is also trying to build the chair that Raphael will use later in the episode to fire away some lasers. All he's got is a wrench. So they're working on this. Meanwhile, Krang and Shredder are back in the Technodrome. Such good music too, that boom! I like guitar. Almost sounds like, when the Technodrome cues, it's almost like the sound you get from the beginning part of the theme song. <clears throat> and now Krang is trash talking Shredder here. By the way, for those who are new here, consider subscribing on Spotify, YouTube, and we do some video gaming on Twitch. Krang is adamant Shredder builds him a body now. And Shredder tells him he's working on some stuff right now. And we'll see here that he has three other mutants. He's got a, almost like a gecko, a bat, and the other one almost looks like a dog. A dog head like a bat head. It was kind of interesting how that one worked out. I think it would have been great to see those guys fight the turtles once. I'm not sure why they didn't. Maybe they did and they took it out of an episode. Krang's telling Shredder about the Stone Warriors with Krang's army. I, you know, with all the episodes they did for this show, can you imagine how cool it would have been? Because they did do an episode in season three that repeats, like, these five episodes with uh, Shibano Sama, the ninja. How interesting would it have been if we could have seen, you know, Krang and Shredder the first time they actually meet and form the Alliance. Krang getting kicked out of Dimension X. A little more in depth with the turtles while they are becoming teenagers, like a baby episode I thought would have been great. Meanwhile, Shredder's gonna go ahead and use that portal to bring the Stone Warriors here, and Krang is freaking out. Donatello's almost done with the turtle van here. And it's interesting because they call it the party wagon on the toy side of town. Johnny's giving them an update about everything here. Ah, nice old school phone in there. And now April's gonna... Well, first they put her up the stairs, now she's gonna drive down the stairs. And what I like here is watch what she does with the animation. You can even hear it too if you're watching the episode. She guns it down here. Breaks through the door. Flies through. I don't know how or why they did that, but... Hold it off. But she does do some city damage and takes out a fire hydrant on her way. Now we have Shredder pulling through some stone warriors, so he thinks. Big, fuck, big thick fuck of smoke here. Here come the neutrinos flying through. Throughout rocks here, trying to take out these neutrinos. I think those would have been cool cars to have as a kid for the vehicle that they had, a red and blue neutrino car. And Crank's car, too. I wonder if these were just toys that just didn't pass the test. 
We talked about it in the last episode with the foot uh, cycle that actually fit four foot soldiers. We got a foot cruiser, we got a foot ski cycle. Now you get a battle of the baddies here. Bebop and Rocksteady taking on Granitor and Trag. I like how nobody's taking damage. They're really just shooting each other back and forth and they're no selling it like uh, a squash WWE match where nobody's sealing anything. We're going to mention the Global Trade Center. Hasn't been around you know, since 9-11, uh, but was mentioned in the old cartoon. I'm sure it wants these guys to all chill out. I believe Pete Renardi is voice of General Trag. I can't pin who is Granitor. I want to say it's Thompson Coleman. Again, anybody who knows, feel free to comment down below in the episode you're watching here. And now we get to see the neutrinos come flying out of the uh, sewers, pretty much. And April is going to drive that turtle van all the way down there. April's going to try and track down those little kids. And now Trag and Granitor find Lord Krang. So I like this here. Krang says, don't look at him. So Trag just looks from side to side saying, my lord, what has happened to your body? Now they do show Krang's body on that blueprint. And he explains that he lost it when they banished him here. And now Krang's really freaking out because the neutrinos are here. Then Krang says, they're a gang. The neutrinos are a gang of juvenile delinquents. They refuse to join any army. They hate wars. And what's worse, Krang says, they encourage people to have fun. Kella wants to know if they have gyro burgers. And now we've got a nice little uh, red and blue pattern here of like a laser tag with the two cars. Leo being a good leader figures the pattern. Just like us good retro video gamers here. You know, all those games are tough in retro land, but just play it enough, you'll figure out a pattern and make it work. And now here comes the turtle launcher. Similar to the, ep the uh, opening theme. Instead of Book of uh, Dano, Book of Dano. A lot of good old school like gangster talk in these episodes. Now Mikey and Leo are getting launched. I don't know how that little couch, you know, car cushion could hold the turtle slide up in the air here. Donnie getting into the shell, scratched heavily through buildings here. Raph finds his way through though. I like this too. Let me go, you cube. Have you ever called anybody a cube? Oh, he thought it was square. Look at Leo going nuts here. Gonna catch somebody with his elbow pad. Again, I just love how Leo is so calm in these episodes. He, he, he drops that in the later episodes with his higher pitched voice. They show the implant on Donatello's shell here. Mikey's got some turtle wax for him. And now they're all on the same side here, figuring out that they're all trying to take on Krang and Shredder. Or April's all confused. There you go, this is another one of my favorite spots here where they go to like an arcade type, almost like a Chuck E. Cheese atmosphere. That one guy's like, we're getting some weird characters, and the other guy's like, yeah, what do you expect in this crazy town? <laughs> the trio are enjoying some pinball. Also, it's like a wrestling pinball. Some animation of an outrun type game. <laughs> now we hear that Dimension X is Grimsville, and now Kel is teared up, but Mikey's got her back. And now here comes some awesome, awesome anime right here. Bam, here comes some Heat Seekers right through the window. Almost takes out Donatello, April, Raph, Mike Kel, they just so close about getting decked. I don't think you see it in any other episodes. Here comes Trag calling him out, wanting to fight. Leo takes out his swords. Raph's ready to go. All the trolls are ready and poised for action. And there's Leo running away. And now they're all retreating. Here we go. Activate Confirm Kill Cannon. What a name for a weapon. Confirm Kill Cannon. Trino shooting the streets up. <clears throat> and here comes the turtles. Eat hot little turkeys. The greatest battle sequence right here, folks. Hope y'all get to enjoy this. Heat Seekers in April. She dodges them. Huge explosion in the back. Donatello giving her directions up top. Leo comes on the other side with his sword. Slices and dices the tires. Great music playing here. Oh, what a treat this episode is. Now they say they're going to take him on foot. It's the vehicle's down. Raph was having a grand old time with that weapon. And now here come the police. A lot of police cars. Damn, about like... And the army coming. So I did. I saw two or three tanks. Now what's going to is they're all going to have to go retreat and uh, take them to their lair. There you go, head and home. And now we get to hear about the Weather Maker, which is actually in not the arcade game, but in Turtles 2 for Nintendo. You can see the Weather Maker in the video game. It's actually pretty cool. Another awesome. I'm pretty sure David Wise came up with this device, and it, they use it to total chaos. And it's only two hours. Pretty incredible to have a Weather Maker change everything in two hours. And it was one of Crane's devices, too, they said. So, the Stone Warriors dodged the tanks and cops just by hiding behind the steps. I always like to spot here, too. So, the Stone Warriors are going to commandeer a ground vehicle. They try to get it going. And they say how to engage the hyperdrive. They're just sitting there pushing the steering wheel and weapons. But this is funny here. 
is look at this so the cops weren't even they say out of the truck Trag and Grantor don't do anything now they didn't put their hands up but they didn't do anything and the army just opens fire on them pretty interesting there and the bullets are not working at all interesting picture there so I never saw that Kala was actually sitting down or on her knees when uh, they're in the turtles there. I thought everybody was standing but Kala was not and now they're getting some more info about Krang here like zillions zillion stone warriors I want to stop we'll see though we won't let anything happen here like you looking out for Kala in the first time meeting her this is what my cousin always liked so they see snow they're happy for it and then April goes yeah but in the middle of June we got some huge snowstorms here they know that it's a stone warrior ma weather maker so they go they're heading in and they're trying to figure out if sending the funerals back home so you're gonna get here we go and I'll be up in rocks they are finally gonna get some action here Let's check how this works so all I got six people in one car another good action sequence here Stone Warriors just firing away at the turtles Leonardo's gonna try and take on the foot by himself here Leo versus eight of them good animation with the swords Rocksteady though final uh it was actually Rocksteady who grabbed with the arm that was Bebop and the turtles get lucky here and they send Bebop and Rocksteady down but Bebop and Rocksteady finally got a lick on the turtles Link and Raph jump out of the car and get blasted nice ninja jumps though Hop back into the car Mikey hanging on by his bare hands pretty much in the back of that car. I'm very pleased with Trag and Granitor here. Mikey's chucks ain't working at all. Trag knocks out Mike with one shot. Those parts a little hokey pokey, but it gets you all out. So they got some random oil, and the stone warriors are slipping, but the turtles are somehow able to maintain perfect balance and then toss those guys into the portal. Trang and Shadow are like, well, now what do we do? Freaking out. And there's a nice little tearjerker spot here. The neutrinos leave one car behind. They're in one car. Donatello saying, you gotta go now. And then Kala says, goodbye, we'll miss you. And then Mikey, I never noticed this until a couple years ago. You see tears come out of Michelangelo here. He says, we'll miss you too. Thought that was cool. And now Mikey's steaming as Shredder leaves. Mikey's chucks are back in good shape after they got decked from Trag. I like that sound effect too when he says he's split. And you hear the nunchucks when he shakes the chains. Another reference to the Wizard of Oz here. Leo sees the Weathermaker, they can't get up to it. Leo jumps out of the car, slices it. Then you see the look of fear on his face as he's fallen. And somehow, Donatello grabs him at the nick of time. And nobody gets stabbed by that sword flying around. We bring this episode in for a landing. Shredder tells Krang, he doesn't care anymore. We've done enough. Your new body is coming to town. Next episode. Krang jumps for joy out of this little thing. And now uh, April reads the turtles, the story of the tortoise and the hare. Raphael sleeping with his sly, sigh again. I can't believe he doesn't stab himself. I think he's the only turtle that sleeps with a weapon. So they go to bed, almost like the Three Stooges with all those bunk beds. Leo comes back into the room, always washing his sword. I wonder if it's a rubby alcohol. But Leo says, tomorrow we're finding the shredder and ending it. So that's going to do it, guys, for episode four here of our Shellonomics watch along with the five part mini series of the original TMNT cartoon. We hope you've enjoyed these so far, and we'll see you in part five very soon. King Mike and the heroes in a half shell. Thanks for listening to Shellonomics. Follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the video version. Stay tuned for more Ninja Turtles insights.